Hello and welcome back to the Two Minute Drill. My name is Bailey, and today we're looking at Minnesota edge rusher Boye Mafe. Right off the bat, Mafe is a super athletic rusher, and it consistently shows up on his film. On some plays, he shows insane movement and flexibility skills that not many other players can do. He has very rare tools that will make him highly sought after by teams. Unfortunately for Mafe, he is a very raw prospect. His run defense is definitely his biggest flaw. He just can't set an edge right now. On RPOs and read options, Mafe is great as a read and react player, using his great athleticism to make plays in the backfield. On traditional runs, Mafe has the tendency to get locked up and pushed back. He also can't really disengage from blockers to make a play on runners. In the passing game, Mafe shows some great reps but doesn't really have a lot of variety to his game. He only has one or two different moves. Mafe's best move is his counter punch. He is great at catching tackles off guard with his speed off the line and delivers a quick punch to discombobulate them. I think Mafe's best fit is as a stand up rusher in a 3 4 defense. He is able to convert his speed to power and has very good bend that is necessary to play the position. If Mafe is able to clean up his run defense, he also could play 4 3 DE. He has shown the ability to knock back tackles on pass rushes from that spot. In order to be a 3-4 outside linebacker in the NFL, you need to be able to drop back in coverage. Mafe is able to do so, it matches up well against running backs. I didn't see any reps of Mafe dropping back into zone coverage or covering a tight end, but I'm sure he would be able to do so with his athleticism. For a player comparison, Mafe reminds me of Owa Odigizua as a prospect. Owa didn't succeed in the league due to injuries and being caught using PEDs, but as a prospect he was a similar all-tools, not a lot of refinement guy. Mafe's in a similar boat. I would be surprised if he plays his rookie year at all, even as a rotational pass rusher. He needs to improve in so many areas before he can hit the field, which is why I would take him in the third round as a developmental edge rusher. And that's the two-minute drill.